The miter saw has many types according to their function and design. One of them is compound miter. So, what is a compound miter? How does it work and what differentiates it from other types of miter? But first off, what is a miter saw? A miter saw is a large saw that is used to make perfect bevel cuts and crosscuts. It uses a mounted back saw or a circular saw blade to make cuts. It works by using the mounted spinning saw blade to make short, quick, and ordered motions. It makes it easy to cut woods faster at selected angles. It can also be referred to as a power miter. The power miter saw is also known as a drop saw. And because it is large, it is mounted on a tabletop. Therefore, you have to take the wood to the work table to cut. It is also known as a miter saw outside the United States. What is a compound miter? A compound miter saw is one of the different types of the miter saw. A compound miter saw is a specialized miter saw. It has all the ability of a normal miter and more. The major difference between a standard miter and compound miter is in their type of cuts. The compound miter saw can make more angle cuts than the standard miter saw. The standard miter saw is designed to make angular cuts of 45 degrees. While the compound miter saw can make, not just 90 degrees angles, but also, various other angles. It does this because of the ability of the blade to be tilted. This makes it possible for it to achieve more cuts. As a result of this, compound miter saws can make, not just miter cuts, but also bevel cuts. This versatility opens up a whole new level of cuts that would have been more difficult to achieve. With miter cuts, you can form a frame of 90 degrees by cutting two 45 degrees miter cuts and join them to form a 90 degrees shape. This can be used to make frames, making pre-sized moldings, and cutting baseboards. But with the compound miter, all those cuts are made easier. Other types of miter saw are 1. Standard miter saw This type of miter saw has limited ability. It can only cut 90 degrees or 45 degrees. They are mostly relevant for angled cuts, and it is perfect for molding. It is the most common type. 2. Sliding miter saw. The sliding miter saw has the same cutting ability as the standard and compound miter saws. But its main distinctive feature is that it can cut a larger expanse of wood than the others. This is because it has rails that give you the ability to move it forward or backward while cutting. It can expand up to 12 to 16 inches which is more than double the reach of the other miter saws. 3. Sliding compound miter saw. This type of miter saw combines all the benefits of the compound and sliding miter saws. It allows you the convenience of using it for varying crosscuts and angles, while at the same time gives you a long reach to make cuts on wide boards. 4. Dual, double compound miter saw. This type has all the attributes of the compound miter saw and at the same time can be bent either to the right or to the left to help cover all the possible angles you wish to cut. Differences between compound and sliding miter saw. They are the same type of saw when looked at from a broader perspective and the type of cuts they make. But there are a few differences that mark them apart from each other. The major difference that they have is the two different specialized characteristics they are equipped with. While the sliding miter, just like the name states, can slide up and down on a rail. This makes it to have a much wider cutting reach than the compound miter. But on the other hand, the compound miter is a sturdier cutter and can cut much thicker lumber. Also, it can make a variety of cuts that the sliding miter cannot. Difference between compound and sliding compound saw. We have been saying that the compound miter saw is a specialized miter. But when it comes to the sliding compound saw, it meets more than its match. The sliding compound miter is all that the compound miter is and more. It is an upgrade on both the sliding miter and the compound miter. It can slide just like the sliding miter and can cut through thick lumber just like the compound miter. We have already seen the differences between compound miters and other types of miter saws. Let us now look at the advantages and disadvantages of the compound miter. 
Advantages of a compound miter saw The main advantage of using the compound miter saw is that it has more space to make more arc cuts than any other. Also, it can cut through thick timber more easily than any other miter saw. Furthermore, it occupies less space in your working station, unlike the sliding miter saw. It is also more economical than the sliding miter saw. So, are you tight on your budget? Or are you looking for a miter saw that can give you want at a low cost? The compound miter is your best option. Disadvantages of a compound miter saw. There is a downside to the compound miter saw. There are some boards that you will find it difficult to get the type of cut you desire. Especially if the board is wide. The miter saw is such an important saw for a workstation. All the various types have their special task and purpose. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimsaws.com for more awesome content like this.